Hey everybody, welcome to another Dunbar Academy mailbag. Before we get started, we just want to remind you to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to learn more about dog behavior and training, make sure to check out our DunbarAcademy.com link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Today we have a question from Kalina. Ian always mentions about giving dogs a designated digging area. Yeah, absolutely right. I'm trying the dog to use it, bury things there each night you can find in the morning. Does the same apply for, for humping? Should I give my dog a designated stuffed dog? Uh, <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I would say if your dog is really getting the jollies out of um, humping and uh, a stuffed dog would do, then buy him a great big stuffed dog. I used to have a life-size Newfie. Um, no, no, he was a... Oh no, what was he? Black and brown. Looks like a newfie, but he's black and brown. Oh, I can't think. My brain has gone blank. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was a life-size, enormous stuffed dog. So if that will do, um, humping's allowed. But I'd still use it as a practice dog to teach your dog when humping's allowed and when not. I would have a little humpathon in the evening, say, okay, go hump. But for the most time, no, he cannot touch or molest the dog. And that's kind of the way I deal with it in the dog parks, that um, if my dog is showing that he's going to hump and the signs are, um, they go perky ears, the ears go perky, and then the chin goes over the back. Next thing is they're going to use the chin kind of like a pole vault and they're going to jump on and hump. Um, I simply say, Rover, sit. That's it. End of it. And then I uh, talk to the owner and say, oh, my dog was going to hump yours. And a surprising number of owners say, oh, I don't mind, she'll take care of it, or he'll take care of it, and fine. And I say, okay, do off you go. And they can work it out, because some dogs will say no, some dogs say yes. So it's always important in a park, I think, to ask the owner and ask the other dog. And by ask the other dog, I mean, you know, is it taking this in its stride? Does it enjoy the game? You know, like Zuzu loved it, man. She just loved it. I remember staying with three dogs in a hotel and Doom was running after Zoo and trying to hump her all the time. She just loved it. She would be very cheeky and saucy. And then as soon as she started humping, she would sit down and he would just slide off, you know. But whatever. So, you know, we let them do it. He was happy, she was happy. But with in the dog park, no. If you want to see owners get angry with you, you let your dog mount theirs. Um, other owners I know um, have uh, let the dog hump their leg. I personally am not going to do that, but if you're okay with it and the dog likes humping, okay. But as long as you can uh, control it and say sit, which means stop hunting. Otherwise, next it will be visitors, great aunt Ada, you know, or always the family member, you know, visiting you who, who doesn't like dogs. I mean, that's the way dogs are. They, they sense it, they go right to that person and start pouring and licking and, yeah, probably humping. Um, there are very few regrets in dog training, you know, but it, in response to something Jamie said the other day um, about super sits, and I thought, I wish we'd filmed Dune because he was, he was a handsome dog and, and he, he really liked humping. And, um, but the control we had over him was unbelievable. And I remember once, you know, in, in a dog park, you know, I took my eyes off him for a second and he's in mid hump on this dog. I said, Dune, sit. And he gets off and sits. And it sort of stopped the dog park because they're all watching, you know, everyone knew who I was, and they're all watching Dune doing what he's doing, but it just blew them away, blew them away. And I wish we'd got it on video, because it would have been so easy to set up with, with Zuzu, because people just don't believe it. No, sit. Ask your dog to sit. The question is, do you um, give the dog appropriate relief as a Digging area would be for digging, or a Kong would be for chewing, or a Howlathon, Barkathon for vocalizing, and what have you. Um, it's, it's kind of up to you. I should say, though, that one trainer did suggest um, that uh, providing another dog for a dog to get his jollies off on, and a lot of other trainers came down on her like a ton of bricks. 
So people don't take the humping too lightly. So on the one hand, it sounds like a, a jolly, uh, silly problem. On the other hand, if you're ever going to see owners get annoyed, it's when another dog humps theirs. So, Kalina, thank you for brightening my day and hopefully cheering up uh, coffee mornings for everyone else who's watching out there. And uh, happy humping, folks. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com to check out our selection of courses, many of which are completely free. If you'd rather watch more of our videos here on YouTube, just click the links to the right. And if you want to follow us on social media, everything you need is directly below. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications.